Hi everybody, and I hope you're having a good day so far. I um, wanted to talk about something kind of fun today. I was outside in my front yard and I was just sitting there and I just realized how many birds were around me. Everything was really quiet and all I could hear was all different bird noises. So of course what I had to do was go get my binoculars and I had to look at some of them closely and they're so, so cute. And I didn't realize how many different kinds there were right by my house. I know it was really exciting. And the best part was my cats were nowhere to be seen. So I knew they weren't trying to catch those birds. That was a good thing. So um, what I wanted to do is read one of my favorite stories about birds and actually where birds live. Does anyone know where a bird lives? Does a bird live in a house or like a condo or like a tent? <laughs> Bridgie, where does a bird live? A nest. He lives in a nest, yes. So this book is called The Best Nest <gasps> and it's by P.D. Eastman. Um, I love this story. I think you guys are gonna love it too. Okay, The Best Nest. Mr. Bird, there he is, guys. Can you give Mr. Bird a one finger wave? Hi, Mr. Bird. Mr. Bird was happy. He was so happy. He had to sing. This was Mr. Bird's song. I love my house. I love my nest. In all the world, my nest is best. He was so happy about his home. I Maybe I should start singing about my home that way. <laughs> what do you think, Bridget? Yeah, I think that's yeah, a good idea. Should. Then Mrs. Bird came out of the house. It is not the best nest, she said. She doesn't seem to like her house very much, guys. Look at Mr. Bird, he's shocked. I'm tired of this old place, said Mrs. Bird. I hate it. Let's look for a new place right now. Oh, look at Mr. Bird. He is so surprised his whole hat came off. So they left the old place to look for a new one. This place looks nice, said Mr. Bird. Let's move in here. It looks like, guys, it looks like they're going right to this tree and going right to this hole in the tree. Does that look like a good place for a bird? I think it does. Oh no, but somebody else had already moved in. Who already lived in there? A raccoon. A raccoon, he was like, get out of here. Right, Bridget? Mm -hmm. <laughs> So they looked at another house. Hey, this one looks nice, said Mr. Bird, and there's nobody in it. Guys, they didn't know what this was because birds don't wear these, but we know what this is. What is this? A shoe. A shoe. Is a shoe a good place for a home? Uh, no. I don't think so. Oh, no. Oh, no. You're wrong, said Mrs. Bird. This house belongs to a foot. Oh my goodness, I'm glad that they weren't in there when the foot went in, guys. So on they went looking. I like this one, said Mr. Bird. It has a pretty red flag right on the roof. Guys, that's not a house. Do you guys know what this is? You know what it says on there? U.S. Mail. Do you know what that is, Bridget? It's a mailbox. It's a mailbox. I've always wanted a house with a flag, said Mrs. Bird. Maybe this place will be all right. Oh no, but it was not all right. I guess I made a mistake, said Mr. Bird. Look it, cause the mail carrier came and he's putting in the mail and he knocked those birds right out of there. That is not the right place, Mr. and Mrs. Bird. You make too many mistakes, said Mrs. Bird. I'm going to pick the next house. And here it is, right here. Looks like they're going into this building, guys. Looks like one of those slats is broken. So it looks like those birds can go right in. Maybe that'll be a good place, Bridget. They flew in, they looked around. Isn't it too big, asked Mr. Bird. I like this big place, said Mrs. Bird. This is the place to build our new nest. So they, I think they found a new place, guys. They went right to work. They needed many things to build their nest. First, they got some hay. So they had, took it, what do they take it with? Their little beaks because they don't have hands, right? They have wings. So everything they pick up for their nest, they have to pick it up with their beak. 
They got some soda straws. Look what they did. This little girl was drinking some pink lemonade and they came by and took one of her straws. And they got some broom straws and they got some sweater strings right off the guy that was wearing the sweater. Each one of them are on one side and they're taking a little bit of the sweater string. Look at, he looks surprised. Doesn't he, Bridget? <laughs> they got some stocking string. A stocking is another word for a sock. Look at, he was in the hammock. And they got some and they got some mattress stuffing oh my goodness this is gonna be a good nest and they got some horse hair look at they pulled it right out of that horse's tail and that horse does not look very happy about it guys they got some man hair look at this guy was on the bench at the park they took some of his hair and some of his beard oh my goodness this is gonna be quite a nest Soon they had all the hay and all the straw and all the string and all the stuffing and all the horse hair and all the man hair they could carry. They took it all back to build their nest. Look guys, their beaks are completely full. They're gonna take it in here and build a nest. Oh my goodness. Mr. and Mrs. Bird worked very hard. It took them the rest of the morning to finish their nest. This nest is really the best, said Mrs. Bird. I wanna stay here forever. Look what a great job they're doing with their nest. Yeah. Looks good. Mr. Bird was very happy too. He flew to the top of his house and he sang his song again. I love our house. I love our nest. In all the world, our nest is best. He was so busy singing, guys. He didn't even see Mr. Parker coming. Do you guys know who Mr. Parker is? You're going to see in a minute. Oh, dear. Every day at 12 o'clock, Mr. Parker came to the church. Mr. Parker came to pull a rope. The rope went up to the bird's new nest. Do you know why he's pulling this rope, guys? Do you know, Bridget? To turn the page? Yeah, I don't even... It's, it's confusing. I don't even... Oh, no! The rope <laughs> rang the great big bell that was right under Mrs. Bird's nest and it's like bong 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 guys it's a really fun sound to make can you make that sound with me bong oh my goodness look how surprised they are it was so uh, big of a shake when he rang the bell that mrs bird it com came right out of her nest oh my goodness Maybe that isn't the right place after all. Mrs. Bird got out of there so fast, as fast as she could fly. She got so scared, she just took off. Look at, there's Mr. Bird, because remember, he was singing about how much he loved his house. And there she goes, the other direction. He didn't even see her. Oh, no. When Mr. Bird came in, all he could see was a great big mess of hay and string and stuffing and horse hair and man hair and straws. But where was Mrs. Bird? I will look for her until I find her, said Mr. Bird. He looked high and he looked low. He looked everywhere for Mrs. Bird. But guys, he couldn't find her anywhere. Do you think he was happy or sad, Bridge? Sad. He was sad. He didn't know where she went. He looked down into a chimney, but Mrs. Bird wasn't there. But there was a lot of smoke. But she wasn't there. He looked down into a water barrel, but Mrs. Bird wasn't there either. Then he saw a big fat cat. There was a big fat smile on the fat cat's face. There were some pretty brown feathers right near the fat cat's mouth. Oh no. Mr. Bird began to cry. Oh dear, he cried. This big fat cat has eaten Mrs. Bird. He, look at those are it looks like mrs bird's feathers oh no mr bird flew off i'll never see mrs bird again he cried it was getting dark and it began to rain it rained harder and harder mr bird couldn't even see where he was going look at him he's crying he's so sad crash oh no mr bird bumped into something i wonder what it was it was his old house, that old, old house that Mrs. Bird hated. Well, I guess I'll just go inside, said Mr. Bird. I'll rest here until the rain stops. He's still so sad because he thinks that big fat cat ate Mrs. Bird. Oh my goodness, but when he went inside, who is in there, guys? Who Mrs. is in there? Bird. Mrs. Bird. 
Mr. Bird went in and there was Mrs. Bird sitting there singing. I love my house, I love my nest, in all the world my nest is best. So all of a sudden, guys, she likes it. She likes the house now. This is the same house that she said she hated early on. <laughs> you here? gasped Mr. Bird. I thought you hated this old nest. Mrs. Bird smiled. I used to hate it, she said, but a mother bird can change her mind. You see, there's no nest like an old nest for a brand new bird. <gasps> what Mrs. Bird did. What did she do, Bridget? Laid an egg. She laid an egg. What do you think is inside of that egg? Baby bird. A baby bird. This is exciting. Oh, there it is. Aww. There's little bird. Oh my goodness. Let's clap for a very happy ending. Yay. I love that story. Now that we're talking about birds, I wanted to make a nest of my very own. So you know what I did? And I wanted to make an egg too, because I loved, I won't look, show you this egg again. This egg is so pretty. This pretty, pretty color. Look at that pretty egg. It's so pretty. So I wanted to make a pretty egg, so I did. Look what I did. I made a pretty egg, right? And I was thinking what would happen if the baby bird hatched out of the egg? What would it look like? I think it would look like, I'm gonna cut it. I think I'm gonna look like this, Bridget, I think. It would look like this, I think, if a baby bird hatched out, right guys? I yeah. think it would. It would. And then, what do you think a nest? What color do you think a nest is, Bridget? Uh, I would say brown. Yeah, I think so. Well, you know what I did? I didn't have any brown paint and um, I wanted to make a nest. So, and I wanted, you know, I told you I made an egg. So here's what I did. I made an egg and I decorated it and I didn't have brown paint, but I did have a white um, a paper plate and I folded it right in half and I did have a brown marker. So I colored my nest all brown and you know what I did? And then I also took some brown paper because I had some brown paper and this is what I did guys, I'll show you. I cut little pieces like this. I bet you guys are really good at cutting. I just cut little pieces and it was really fun actually. I'm gonna do it all, Bridge. I'm gonna do it all. Woo! -hoo! I know, I love it. I love it. It's so much fun to cut. I have to be very careful though because I don't wanna cut my finger. Do I? No. No, I don't. I'm gonna be very, very careful. Okay. Well, and I wanted to decorate my eggs with polka dots because I like polka dots. Do you guys like polka dots? Yeah. And so here's my egg with my polka dots. What color are my polka dots? Yellow. They're yellow. And I do you see what I did? I here's the plate, but I glued some of these brown pieces of paper right on my nest to look like a real nest. <gasps> now guys, there's something really cute about this. You guys ready? Bridget, I need you to help me. I need you to count to three. Okay. One, two, three. Is it hatching? Who what's in there? Count again, Bridget. One, uh -oh. two, three. Peekaboo! Oh. <laughs> this is a peekaboo bird nest. Isn't it cute? I'm gonna show you what I did, guys. Look what I did. So, this is what I did, I know. Um, this is the one I made, it's all dry, but I wanted to show you guys how I made it. I, I, you saw the egg before I cut it. First I cut it, like so it would look like it cracked open. So if you, you could cut it or you can have your grown up help you cut it, okay? And then what you do, I just took some blue paper, but your bird can be any color you want and your egg could be any color you want too. And I just, I just look, I just kind of put, put this here so I would know the, the size of it. And so I'm just, I just made this shape like this, like that. That's not very hard, right? No. And look, I'm just gonna cut it out. I'm just gonna cut it out, Bridge. Look at, so that's how I made my little bird head. That's how I made my bird head. Um, and you know, I have, what shape is this? Do you know what shape this is? Circle. I made two little circles for eyes, and then I just took a black marker 
and I just drew the pupils right inside. Hello, little bird. Hey, little bird. Oh, he's cute. I'll have this one be. Let's name him Joey. This is a girl. This oh. is Mrs. Bird, and this is Mr. Bird. Oh. I like that one. Okay, and then I just cut, what shape is this? Triangle. I, ch I cut out a triangle out of orange, and I just put this here. So I'm not gonna glue this together because I've already done this one, but I just wanted to show you how I did it so you guys can make one at home. And then you take the top part, like here's your egg, right? You can decorate it however you want. I decorated it with polka dots. You can put your name on it. You could put stripes, or you could just leave it how it is. You could do whatever you want. So um, you take you take this. See how I took my, see, here's my plate. It's my plate. And I, you know, it's it's folded in half. I drew it all brown. Then I put some of those, these that we made. Remember, we cut these. I just put them all over. Then I glued, see, I glued my, um, the bottom of my egg here. And then right underneath there, I made a slit. I made it, look guys, I'm gonna show you. So your grown-ups can do that part. I cut a big hole. Can you see that, Bridge? Yeah, so have your grown-ups do that part because that part is a little tricky. Okay, so have your grown-ups do that and you can glue the top on your bird and then um, if you have a popsicle stick at your house, even if you don't, you could do it to a, uh, a pencil. A you straw. could do it to a straw. Well, that's a great one, Bridge. A straw or even a stick outside. And see how I just taped it on the back so I have it's like a little puppet and so when I'm done I just stick it right in the hole that I made yay so it looks like look it looks like an egg looks like just an egg right I like to pop them out again because I like to do peekaboo bird okay Bridgie count to three one two three peekaboo <gasps> oh guys I really like this peekaboo bird I hurt I hope that one of you makes one of these. And if you do, you know what I want you to do. I want you to send it to me because I want to see it. All right, my friends? And what I also hope you guys do is I hope at some point you'll go out into your garden, your backyard or your front yard, or just even out on the street when you're taking a, uh, a walk. And I want you to listen. Everybody be really, really quiet. And I want you to listen and see if you can hear birds chirping, because I bet you can, because I couldn't believe how many I heard today. I wasn't even paying attention before, but now I go out and I pay attention. And if you have binoculars, bring those, because then you can see how beautiful their feathers are. It's really fun. All right, my friends, thank you for listening to my story, and I hope you have a chance to make a peekaboo bird too. All right, guys, have a good rest of your day. Okay, bye-bye.